Hello and welcome to this training. In this video I want to talk to you and show you how to choose and select digital photographs from your camera and get them ready to put into a presentation in Switchit Maker 2 which is this fantastic piece of software where the icon is in the top right hand corner of my desktop by the cursor. Now before we start a demonstration I just want to give you some advice on what pictures to use. Make sure that any digital picture that you use is meaningful and motivating to the person who's going to be viewing the presentation. Make sure the pictures are of the best quality and that they're nice and clear. The reason for this is that obviously a digital picture doesn't do anything. It doesn't move and there's no sound attached to it. And so we have got to be very, very choosy about the types of pictures that we use. OK, let's start by stating the obvious. First of all, to do this, you're going to need a digital camera. Now, yours may be a Casio camera like the one that's on your screen now or it could be one of the dozens of other cameras which are on the market. Once you've got your camera you're going to need a USB lead. Now a USB lead obviously connects the camera to the computer. Let me get that out of the way for the moment. USB lead has got two ends to it. The biggest end is going to be connecting the connecting to the computer and the smallest end is going to be connecting to the camera. Now again depending on which depending on which camera you've got the the ends of the USB leads may be slightly different but for all of them it's the same concept. The other thing that you've got to remember is once you've connected the camera to the computer via this lead is you've got to turn it on. And once you turn it on, you will have a beeping sound. And I believe we heard it from my computer all about 30 seconds ago. As well as the beeping sound, you get one of these dialog boxes coming up as I've got on my screen. Now today I'm actually using my phone as a camera and not a proper digital camera. And the reason for that is um, my own digital camera, my stepson dropped and therefore it doesn't work. So we're using the phone, but it's the same same principle. Now what I want you to do is when you've got that dialog box coming up, go to the red and the white cross and get rid of it. I want you to go to the bottom left hand corner of your screen by the start button and press it. Then I want you to find the My Computer icon and click on it. Now your camera will be listed most likely under this heading here devices with removable storage. And my camera phone is listed here as phone and next to it it's got a letter. Now again yours may be slightly different but what will be the same is the icon here, this grey picture of a disc. And in fact your icon could be much, your uh, camera could actually be listed as a removable disc which is what I've got over here. So either way, just click on the icon. You're taken to a screen where, you, where you'll have a few yellow folders. And again, your folders may be different, but the folder that you will have will be the DCIM folder. So just double click on it, and in all likelihood, you're going to have another folder which is going to say something like 100 MSDCF. Double click on it, and then you can have a view of your individual photographs. Now what's important here, okay, is that you take your time selecting the very best photographs and that once you've selected them you take a note of the file names. Now the reason for this is because these file names are so nonsensical. They're just um, three letters DSC and then you've just got a whole string of numbers. So get yourself a pen and paper, 
choose what photographs you want and then note down what their file name is for each photograph. And at that point, you are ready to start inputting those chosen photographs into a Switch It Maker 2 presentation. And that's going to be the focus of the next video. And so I'll see you there.